Got another question here. I'm taking the questions more or less in the order that they were submitted here. So I have a question here from Cataclysmic Design, spelled very interesting Cataclysmic, has a question. As a major concert photographer, how can I request bands to consider purchasing my photography? I'm the best concert photographer in Phoenix, run my own online publishing, own my own media arts business. I regularly get photo passes to photograph major artists such as Jimmy Eat World, Blink-182, Evanescence, and more. I have no problem getting access to shoot. There's no monetary opportunity. Ha-ha, <laughs> you get you have trouble getting the money. My goal is to sell my work and get a place where the artists are specifically requesting and hiring me to photograph them. I know the subject is out of the norm for you. However, there is no next to no guidance in the industry, and I'm really hoping you can tell me something I never, ever thought of. Well, I'm not sure I can do that. Cataclysmic, but let me give you a couple thoughts about this. Um, first off, getting the bands or the artists to buy your photography. Um, I manage a lot of bands and I can't remember ever. Did I say, did I mention ever, Anna? <laughs> I, I don't remember ever the artist ever purchasing the photos off of the photographer, right? Um, you know, that's not going to happen in my, in my experience. Not to say it's going to happen, but that's not going to be a career for you. That's going to be a very expensive hobby. Um, you get photo passes to come and do the, the shows. That's easy enough to get a photo pass, right? But if you want to make money and develop a real bona fide relationship with a big time artist, the best way to do that uh, cataclysmic is become friends with the band. And let me tell you why, right? As a manager, um, when a band is on tour, they're on a tight schedule. And what is treasured out on the road from band, management, crew, everybody, is consistency. And the way to keep things consistent is not to add a bunch of different moving pieces into the mix. So, um, so often over the years, I've had people pitch me for photo passes and so forth and want to build a relationship with the band. And my general answer was, you can take pictures during the first two songs, now keeping in mind that everybody in the crowd is now taking pictures all day long, right? Um, but rarely would we grant them any kind of stage access, any kind of special access at all, give them a pass to be backstage, because so often that turned into a problem backstage and upset the consistency that we were all looking for. The last thing the production manager wants to see on the stage is some photographer going out there to get that big shot because they're, they're, they're ready to shoot you, right? The last thing a manager wants to see, I remember seeing a show at the Incubus in Las Vegas and all of a sudden I watched this guy come out on the stage in the middle of the fucking show and I got on the radio and go, who the fuck is that guy? Get him off the stage! It was a photographer that got a pass that decided to get a little edgy and get some really cool shots and forgot that there was a rock show going on. People wanted to see it, right? So um, if you're looking to get past that, the way to make that happen is now you're friends with the band, Cataclysmic. And the band tells loudmouth manager Steve and the production manager and the tour manager, hey, this person needs a pass. And I'm okay with that because if that pass turns into a problem, band's idea. And the worst thing that happens is they go, Steve, you got to get that guy out of here, which frankly, I've done. So um, not to totally crap on your dream here, Cataclysmic, there are some people that have uh, managed to get through this. There is a gentleman by the name of Brian Smith, uh, Brian Bowen Smith, big time photographer, big time fashion photographer now, who started by following Incubus around and got very friendly with him. He was a very engaging guy, and, uh, but he never made any money with Incubus, really. He would get hired to do a photo shoot for the label. Those are the folks that pay Cataclysmic, not the band, right? Um, he would try to package those pictures into a book, and the band might give him permission to do that. But he got friends with the band. There's another gentleman. I think it's on your playlist, uh, yes. Anna. Yes. gentleman by the name of Brantley Gutierrez. Same story. Young uh, photographer who was trying to make his mark in the business. And he made his mark ultimately by becoming friends with the bands. And he tells a great story in that interview of how he got started. I forget who the band was that he started with. Um, uh, I think it was the Foo Fighters who invited him backstage in Vegas and he managed to turn it into uh, uh, a real gig. 
So uh, if you're looking to make money selling photographs, that is a tough row to hoe, my friend. But I say, God bless you. Give it a shot. Um, and it's, it's definitely worth um, the effort. Um, but don't wait for the bands to pay. You need a magazine to pay you for doing a photo shoot. You need a label to pay you for doing a photo shoot. You need people with money. Um, and uh, so that's my advice there. Hopefully that'll help you out. Hopefully I haven't bummed you out too much.